snow in that video, Lattice. There's a nice, pretty white layer outside to get people in the festive there holiday There is. Spirit. Unfortunately, though, it's this powdery snow, so you can't have that traditional snowball fight when you're going out to cut your tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Might be better true. in some <laughs> cases. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> a few more tears. <laughs> Let's take a look what's going on. Uh, we're going to add to that little freshing of snow. Okay. We got a little bit of light snow outside around southeastern Wisconsin. The initial band here that you see from Milwaukee up to Port Washington down towards Racine not reaching the ground. The air is so cold and dry that it's not reaching the ground, but the more, I guess the more moderate snow back in the Dodge and Fond du Lac and also into Jefferson County starting to reach the ground as well. Could pick up a quick dusting to maybe a quarter of an inch. We'll see a couple of these bands work their way through throughout the afternoon. Uh, a half inch or so for across most of southeastern Wisconsin or less. Then you go up to the north, uh, Green Lake, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan could pick up an inch to maybe an inch and a half. If you're traveling northward into Appleton and Green Bay today, they could pick up two to maybe three inches of snow before it is all said and done later this evening. It is cold around the state, 11 in Green Bay, 7 in Wausau, 4 in Rhinelander. For the deer hunters up north, it is cold uh, around Port Washington. You saw on the radar that it looked like it was snowing, but as I mentioned, not reaching the ground right now. Maybe a few scattered flurries here and there that will change over the next hour. 19 degrees in port. Southerly wind is at 7, so temperatures have actually risen overnight after that last evening being in the single digits in some locations. Wind chills, however, this is how it feels with a light breeze anywhere from 2 above in Beaver Dam, 3 in Fond du Lac to 11 in Racine. Your high temperatures today getting into the upper 20s to around 30 with a southerly wind at 10 to 15. A warm front's getting closer to us and with that we could transition some of this light snow uh, throughout the day into a little bit of sleet and potentially even a little bit of freezing drizzle uh, as we get into the late afternoon and into the evening hours. A high of 30 in Palmyra today, 28 West Bend, also Sheboygan and 27 Elkhart Lake and into Plymouth. So once again we had that first band of snow this morning very light and we'll have scattered light snow showers throughout the day. As the warm front gets closer to us, we'll see a little bit of sleet and potentially some freezing drizzle this evening. Otherwise, tonight's cloudy uh, and mild. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy and in the 40s before the cold front gets here uh, mid morning on Sunday and then the cold air returns. Go figure. Sunday, 325, be there. Lambeau Field. It's like a preview to the Super Bowl. It's going to be fantastic. Tailgating at noon, 32 degrees. Uh, during the game, that cold front sweeps on through. Temperatures will be dropping. It'll be 22 by the fourth quarter with wind chills in the teens. But the drive home, despite a lot of traffic, looks to be fine with no snow in the forecast. Just cold. Light snow today, less than an inch of accumulation. Could see some freezing drizzle late this afternoon into the early evening hours. Otherwise, tonight's mostly cloudy and mild. A low of 28. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, we're going to get to 43 tomorrow. Not bad after that morning low of 28. Heading over to Camp Randall as the Badgers try to get the trifecta for Wisconsin sports teams beating the Minnesota teams. 41 degrees at Camp Randall. Not a bad afternoon. Uh, by the end of the game, temperatures will have fallen into the 30s. Falling temperatures on Sunday, a high of 40 before noon, and then we'll be in the upper 20s to lower 30s by around sunset. 21 for your high on Monday and 30s. All of next week, still no big snowstorms for all you snow lovers out there. Time saver traffic this morning.